Hey everybody, we're gonna do a seat set today that hopefully doesn't get cut off because I'm gonna keep it to the right timing, okay? So you're gonna face your chair, your bureau, whatever you're using. Probably better use a countertop or a bureau or like a big wing chair instead of like a flimsy little chair. We're gonna put a little bit of weight on it today, okay? So if you can find an area where you can really bend forward, that would be ideal. To start, you're just gonna hold it completely straight. You can do this with any chair. Right toes are gonna to come on the floor behind you. Flex your foot, bend your right leg in half. Now, before you do anything with your right leg, just scoop your hips under, shoulder blades pull back. You're gonna extend your heel to the ground for two counts, then back to your seat for two counts. So it's extend, two, in for two. Extend, two, in. On the extension, I want you to get that heel to almost touch the ground. Okay, so the heel's coming really close to the ground, all the way straight with that leg. So when I say straight leg, I wanna stick straight leg. Bend, all the way in, out. Keep going here. Now where you're gonna work, feel this work right now is in the back of your leg, it's gonna be fire all up here. You might even get a little cramp, okay? You can relax your foot a little bit if you're getting a cramp in your foot. If you get a cramp here, that means you're working into the right muscle, so I just want you to try and fight through, the, through that cramp. And then pull your shoulder blades back, and you just don't want your tailbone sticking out like this. See how my tailbone's sticking out? That doesn't work as intensely into my hamstring. I wanna tuck under, so I'm using my glute and my hamstring more. Hold your leg in. Little kicks in, in, in. I'll make it bigger so you can see what it looks like. It looks like this, but if you do it this big, you're actually giving your hamstring a little bit of a break. So hold it in, just squeeze in, in, in. We're almost done with your hamstring, so I know you're getting that burning. Maybe it's in your cramp. You gotta stick with it a little bit longer. Just press back to finish. That's right, we're almost done. Tuck under, shoulder blades back. You're standing completely straight, shoulders over hips. Hips over heels. Inhale, exhale. Pull that heel into your seat one more time. Last 10 counts here. It's nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Drop that foot. You'll feel a little relief. Step your right foot back and left foot back. Hinge forward. Bring your left forearm to your support. Okay? Right arm comes out at a wide angle to the side. It's that same shape we made before, that 90 degree position. Lift your right toes off the ground. Open your hip up. Okay, so your right hip stacked over your left. Knee, your chest is high, your knee pulls into your elbow. In, two, out, for two. In, two, out, for two. In, two. Now if you're in a position where the thing you're holding onto, if it's a countertop, if it's a bureau, if it's like a wing chair, you might be able to take that right hand and press it into the bar as your leg comes in. So it's a press into your hand as your leg comes in. Now keep going. I'm gonna show you what starts to happen as you get tired. Your knee starts to do this. Okay, the hard part is holding your knee at that height while bringing it in, in, in. Okay, so try and keep that knee almost like it's gliding on the same level the entire time. And out for two, three more here, in, two, out for two, in, and out, hold it in, little pulse is up, and up. My knee is about an inch from my elbow, okay? And it hasn't dropped here. I know it's probably gonna be there, that's totally fine. The idea would be to be able to get your heel in line with your knee, and then lift that leg up. Up, and up. Option, straight leg. Just 10 more here, it's 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Take a forward fold. Hang down, reach for your toes. Straighten both legs. And then bend one leg. Other leg is stick straight. And switch. Nice stretch there. Inhale, exhale. Okay, you did your right side. You gotta do your left side now. All right, let's switch the song up and let's head to your left side. You're almost done, halfway, all right? Face your support, okay? Extend your left toes now on the floor behind you. Flex your left foot and then bend that leg in half. Now before you add any movement, tuck your hips under, shoulders over hips. Extend out for two, then pull in for two. Extend out and in. Now as you're doing this, you wanna think of your heel coming close to your seat and as it extends straight, your knee's not changing its height. Might shift back an inch, 
but it doesn't drop here, okay? And you really wanna pull that heel in as tight to your seat as you can get before releasing it down. And when you release it down, you wanna stick straight leg. That's why the count's really slow here. I want you to really extend your leg completely straight before curling it all the way back in. All right, now this movement might seem like an easier movement. It's actually a harder movement because you don't wanna move your hips at all and you're trying to maintain a deep tuck, a big squeeze of your glutes the entire set. So the better you get a bar, the harder the set becomes. So when you first start bar, the set, you're like, oh, it's hard, but it's not that bad. As you get better, this becomes one of the harder sets you can do because you can really isolate the muscles. Now hold your heel in and just kick in. In. so this is my heel, I'm kicking it in just like that. Kick in, 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 and in. Now, if you're holding on to something where you can shift your weight over, you wanna shift your weight over toward your left side so that your shoulders and hips aren't leaning this way. Okay, you wanna keep everything right over and you'll need a little support too, that's why I fall over. You need a little support to shift all that weight over. So shift the weight over so that your shoulders, hips, heels are stacked perfectly. Now kick your heel back. You're almost done, right? Shoulder blades pulled back. Just back and back, back and back. Tuck under again, pull your heel into your seat. One more inch, if it drop like here, if it's down here, jack it up for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now switch sides. You're gonna take your left arm to the bar. Your right arm to the bar, left arm goes wide. Left leg extends long. I'm still doing my right, so you can see it. Knee to elbow, we come in for two and out for two, okay? So I'm still doing that on my right side so you can see what it looks like. It's the same set we did on the other side. So you're probably facing a different direction. You're not seeing me in the camera anymore. Or maybe now you are seeing me in the camera. You just wanna make sure your knee is sliding, almost like there's a, a shelf right next to you. You're just sliding your knee on it and back out, okay? Your hips are open, they're not close to the ground. So if you take bar and you're trying to be in some sort of fold over position here, you don't have to do this for the set. You can open your hip up so your hips are stacked, right hip over left. Now, if you're saying, I'm feeling this a lot in my left leg, that's normal. As you get stronger, your left leg will be able to support you a little bit more. You won't feel it as much in that leg. Last three here. Inhale, exhale. Keep breathing. You're going to hold your leg in wherever your count is. Just meet us here and pulse up and up. up. As you get tired, this right knee wants to drop down here. Okay? You want to keep it high. Now, it's easier if your heel's to your seat. It's harder if your heel's further away. So take an option that makes it a little bit harder. Okay, you got 20 more here. Inhaling and exhaling. Set is so hard, it's called fire hydrant. Right? Not a great image. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one release. Shake it out. You're gonna come take that hamstring stretch again. So you're gonna fold forward, reach for those toes. Straighten both legs, even if your hands don't reach the ground. And then bend one knee, stick straight your other leg, feel that nice stretch, get a little heavier now that you can bend that knee. You wanna reach down until you feel a stretch in your straight leg. And then switch sides, same thing on the other side. So straighten the other leg. Good, inhale, exhale. We're gonna take a figure four stretch. You can do that standing. I find them much easier to do on your mat. So right ankle over left knee, right heel in line with knee, one hand through your thighs, one hand on the outside pole. Now, if any part of me is getting cut off in the video, the best place to watch these videos is YouTube, where there's full length, both of me and timing, switch sides. This is a series of shorter videos designed for you to basically put together what you want to do. Inhale, exhale, and then roll on up. You are all done with your seat set. Now, sometimes in class, I'll do two sets of seats. So if you want to find another set of seat to do, you totally can. Something like fold over, something to work the center of your seat or a back dancing set. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe.